Hi guys, I'm going to show you how the new Google Photos movie editor works, but first this is a brief history of how it came to be. The Movie Maker was originally announced October 2013 as a part of Google+. Plus. As part of the auto backup system that Google Plus used, where all your photos and videos were backed up to the cloud, it would automatically make you a movie using your videos. It would use advanced computer smarts to pick out the best parts of your video, add music, take out any shakiness, definitely ahead of its time. And if you wanted to, you could even go in there and edit out the bits that you didn't want to make changes. The biggest problem with it is Google Plus. People didn't want to upload all their photos and videos to Google Plus. May 2015 is when that all changed when Google announced Google Photos. So they took all the photos and video stuff from Google Plus and added it into this new system that wasn't tied into a social network. And in fact, you could share it with any social network that you wanted. It didn't have to be Google Plus. Now it could be Facebook or Twitter. It was more of a private storage for your photos more than a social network where people wasn't sure what was shared, what wasn't shared. So next in the timeline is when Google acquired Fly Labs, November 2015. So Fly Labs had an app called Clips. It did the impossible. It made editing video on a mobile phone screen nice and easy with sliders. So how does it look when you have Apparently, the creators of the world's best video editing apps and the smarts from Google Photos. Let's find out. So here we are on my iPad. Um, so I'm going to open the Google Photos app and I've got eight clips here that I'm going to use to make a movie with just to show you. So I'm going to select them all, click on the plus and go to movie, which is not different to how it used to work, but this is how it works now. So, so I'm going to speed this clip up. But as you can see in this long grid, this is how it looks. So it's gone through all of the eight clips that I picked and it's picked what it thinks is the best part of each one. Uh, so that's where you can see the timeline, but it hasn't, each of these timelines isn't the full clip. So it's, it's a cut down version of each one. So as you can see, it's playing through each one now. You'll see a lot in common in the old Fly Labs app clips. So I'm gonna show you that here. So as you can see, it looks very similar. The difference with the clips app is that they are the full videos. Uh, there's no smarts in the app, so it doesn't pick out the best parts of the video like Google Photos does. So it's a bit of both, the best of both worlds. So as you can see, I'm just scrolling through the whole lot here, very nice and easy. You never lose focus of, of all the clips on the screen. So if you compare that with a, a different video app like iMovie, where you've got a big long timeline, it doesn't work so well on a portrait screen the mobile phone that a lot of people have in their pockets all day and it would probably be more convenient to edit with. So if we click on the play button we can play the video from wherever the, the scrubber is on the timeline. So first off I'm going to show you how to trim. So it's so easy. So you just, just drag. It's easy as that. So now I want to play the second clip so I just click on the box next to the clip I've just circled and then it plays. So again right okay I want this to to come in a bit later so I'm dragging it that way and then I'm dragging it that way and then simple as that I can see exactly what I'm doing at all times it's very intuitive um, so this is how it works on the current Android app it's, it's not quite as easy if you want to just affect a couple of seconds you have to download any clip and it's never fun watching a progress bar going especially if you can't see how long it has got left to download so you wait and when it comes up you can see a bit of your clip so then you have to drag the cursor um, and then you have to watch it to see if it's the right place and then when if you're happy with that you click on the tick which isn't the nicest of experiences so now I'm going to show you how to download the full clip if you think that Google's made a mistake in the, the part of the video it's chosen so you click on the three dots and that pops up a box so now you want to choose show entire video so that's going to start downloading all of that clip and you'll see when it's all downloaded that the the cursors change so it goes a bit smaller because it's actually a longer clip now so I'm gonna duplicate that make a copy right so now I'm gonna scrub through the video so I can see all the all the clips I want now that I've got the parts that I want I'm gonna choose hide trimmed portions to make it easier to make adjustments 
So click on the three dots again, hydrogen portions, and then it, it, you get the whole of it in grey. So now when I want to make adjustments, you'll see it's a lot more fine tuned. So I can just see it walking across. So I wanted to go across the bridge one way and then back again. In the next clip that I want to edit, I know that there's sound in here that I want to include. So I'm going to use the on mute option. So this is actually works better than the old Google Photos oh, app because um, that was an all or nothing deal. On this, you could choose which clips you did want the audio containing, which is a lot better. So next I'm going to show you to move, which is simply long press and move into the position that you want it into. Next, I'm going to show you the insert clips option, which is really actually nice how it works. So again, you click on the three dots and then you choose insert. And now the timeline you see here is actually the same period of time where the rest of the videos are from, which saves you from scrolling through all your videos. When it downloads the clip, it actually downloads the full thing, which is nice. Um, I wish there was an option in uh, Google Photos where you could download all the full length clips like the old clips app used to. So here you can see me, I'm just dragging it to place. I've, I found the right bit I want. And then again, I'm gonna hide the trim portion so I can actually fine tune it in like I did earlier. So I'm just watching this video now. It's more or less where I want. Uh, I just wanna fine tune it a bit more just so I can get the exact bit that I want. So next, I'm gonna show you how to add the photos at the bottom of the timeline. Just click on that button and it works much like insert did earlier, but this adds it at the bottom. Insert adds it where you click. I've done all this video in portrait, but this is how it looks in landscape. I just wanted to show you in portrait because that's how most people hold the phones and that's how most people would be editing. So next is music. Uh, if I click on my music, I haven't actually got any in, any music in my iTunes that I can use. But if I click on theme music, you'll see it works much like the old version did. So you've got a few different options. You click through them, find the one that you want. Got reflective rocking or beat and then that's it i've uh, done a few edits i'm ready to play the full movie just to see how it looks now i've done a bit of tinkering around i've made it my own video where before it was a google video So what's missing from the new Google Photos movie editor? Uh, a couple of things actually. So if you try to edit an old movie on the new photos editor, you'll get this pop-up to say that your themes are no longer supported. So when they say themes, they mean these filters where you can click through and you can change the whole look of the video. It's a bit like Instagram with the filters on the photos, but this is on the movies. But apparently they're coming back soon, or well, this is what we was told in October 2016. Adding your own titles is another thing that's gone away, but I don't see why this wouldn't be added back because it was part of the old Google Photos app and the old Clips app. Another thing that doesn't work, if you try to edit one of the new movies you've created in the Android app, which uses the old version, it won't work. You'll get this pop-up that will just say, oh no, something went wrong. It clearly shows that they are working on making a new movie app for the Android. But thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something.